wobbling today, so maybe I can get the better of him. Stay with us. We ought to have a great show. Hey, man, listen to this one right here. Hi, folks. It's pretty early in the morning. And yeah. We're just basically, I'm too damn little early. Kitchen. Using a half ounce weight on six inch lizards. I guess, Paul, you just rigging Texas style right now, throwing a worm. Important. Zero luck at this point. None. You got that right. <laughs> Seen a few roll, but. Well, when you first, when you when you go to a new lake for the first time, it's really just natural to start hitting the bank. Yeah, you, you gotta learn try it out, see where you wanna go. Yeah. But this is one of the prettiest county lakes I have seen. They've just got numerous Not trees really. that's been cut and intentionally really, dropped man, in the yeah. water. Oh, many places like this, you know, most of the time they're clean around uh -huh, the bank. Uh-huh, too clean. But now, like you said, though, now, the way they got these trees cut, they just got them spaced out just all the mm -hmm. way around. Well, some friends of ours uh, came about a week ago, and they claimed they caught 52. Whew. Boy, we done decided we didn't see the fish, did we, Paul? There you go. Man, I got to take a little this dump this, here. Uh, I really believe this is like holds some really? good fish in it. They said the biggest was about four and a half pounds. They ought to be plenty of fish in here. Well, if we're going to catch them, we're going to have to catch them this morning because they said it's going to be 98 degrees by lunch. <laughs> we're going to have to go swimming then. Mm -hmm. We're having a hole in a little old bass tournament man, over really here. I gotta take it's coming dump. Saturday. Got to take me a dump, man. I hope, we can, I hope the fishing may be a little better. I hope then. I can hold it. <laughs> if I can hold out there. Get him? Oh, <laughs> Hey, no, we seen him. We seen a fish. Now that's what you call. Hey, don't be talking something. about me. I don't know if you seen fishing. that at home, folks, or not, but they did. Paul got a little bump off the end of the uh, tree top there. Yeah. And he, he, you done one of my trees. I set the hook one time and snatched the fish all the way over the boat. I seen the hook come out of his mouth when he come up. <laughs> he just kept coming with it. Though. That, that, was, that was a good 10 pounder, wasn't it? Uh, at least. <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Great. First, uh, first almost fish of the day. Mm -hmm. First bite that was noticed. He wants it again. He want it again? <laughs> That's a little better fish there now. A little bit better, huh? Little better fish there. That's a good little old fish. Is it 12 inches? We're gonna have to put him on the floor and match. 12 what? Yeah, he'll move. Yeah, that's a good 13, ain't it? Yeah. Well, that's our first fish that hold it up real still for everybody to see. You just let me get the hook out. Bite the hook out of it. Hold it real still. Yeah. Good fish. Hurry up, Paul. Why don't you take that dump and let's get on now. Why? Hurry up. Thank you. Good. Where'd he hit out? Was he away from the right? Yeah, he was away from the tree top. <coughs> away from the tree top? How yeah. far? About right over where he's on that now. Probably Maybe the cabbie. You think he was laying up in it or you think they just holding sort of off out? Say about where my line's at now, mm -hmm. about where he hit. I was just bumping it through. Bumping it through. Picking it up and I fed him to the ditch. He just eased up. What color worm to hit it on? I I'll never tell. Yeah. Uh, we actually get it on. We'll get a close up on camera a minute, folks. <laughs> Show them. Um, there you go. There you go. Great with a chartreuse tail. Well, if I've learned one thing over the years, if you catch one fish out of a tree top, you better stay there when the fish is slow. Yes, sir, because there's a lot of bit of nothing laying around. Eat him, sweet pea. That's nothing swimming. Don't miss him. <laughs> That's one of them little old bitty ones, ain't it? That's you both. didn't throw him out of the water, though, did you? No, I, I didn't do that. Y'all talk about it. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> now, that right there, we'd have to put the we'd come along to, on him. We'd have to smush him show sure nothing. We'd have to put the come along. Now help the fish, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yearling. Yeah. It's, it's a damn one-year-old yearling fish. What that was. Now, that's funny. Now, we went around the treetops, and now we come back around the banks and catching one. You're fish. catching one. <laughs> <laughs> and they sure ain't wanting this top water. Oh, that old crankbait rock. Oh. They ain't. Even one of them think about it. I believe yeah. one gonna slap that out the wild. I've been seeing a few of them roll up around the edge. Yeah. 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 
think I gotta take another dump right now. There's one. Dang. Yeah, there's one. Boy, he's cutting away. Get all that moss, don't they? Feisty. Oh, he yeah. It says it hit water, did it? Uh huh. Laid there and helped it in his mouth. Paul, I think we're on to a pattern. What? Tell the folks at home what a pattern we figured out is. Uh, what, base of a tree? Base of a tree, under <laughs> the mall, under and the mall. tree's got to be pine. It's got to be a pine tree. Oh, man. I believe what's that. I think they fertilized this pond. I think they did, too. They're trying to get up under that moss to yeah. get all that fertilized. Yeah. Well, I tell you, we was on that other end. It was just as Busy. green. And, well, Milky we, green. Well, the, the fish has been slow, but, you know, that's a beautiful lake. Purred green. Just a beautiful lake. Yeah. And, of course, we're going to have to... It may be just we we can't fish too, you reckon? Yeah, it could be. Right, Good cool. possibility. But anyway. we don't go with the theory it's been fertilized. As long as yeah. we don't ask nobody, can't nobody fertilize. There you go. Hell yeah. So you just wear it something, fisherman. Fertilize it. Like the big water fishermen, they can't blame it on fertilizing. No, because they ain't fertilizing big water. It's fertilizing. Fertilizing. This isn't. I like that word. Fertilizing. And the slew's got trees that have dropped in the water. Fertilize. We're gonna mess around and catch some more. We're gonna catch some fish. Fertilize. I got to catch it up today. I got a whole fish in one hive to catch it up. <laughs> well, I think that one of them fish you saw, I think I was a catfish. Oh, it's all fish. You sure? That license never, you never got out of the water. Yeah, no, I did. didn't. Huh? Yeah, I did. I never seen it. You, you, you air lifted him back in, didn't you? <laughs> That's one that got hung up in moth. I didn't know if it was moth and fish swimming. Yeah, I know. I was wondering what you did. Well, I thought I missed it. You didn't know, did you? Well, that shit, the only thing was moth. <laughs> yeah, I just quit reeling. I noticed my line. Kept That's what coming. I did over there, is it just moss all over. They say folks, the reason we ain't catch nothing on this one is because it's not a pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's one right there. Catch you up with you. He come right under the boat. Boy, he was right on top of the water. Oh, yeah, he come right on up. That's pretty good in there. Yeah. For a vulva. Boy, if I'd have waited any longer, he'd have just got on in there with me. He just crawled up the line, wouldn't he? Uh-huh. Look at that. Yeah, the funny thing happened to me the other day. Me and my old partner went brim fishing. Mm -hmm. Went over to this little private pond. Mm -hmm. We were sitting up there. It's getting pretty late, you know. Mm -hmm. we got to fish around the bank. That old, big old brim jumped. No. So we were going to ease on over there and see if we couldn't catch this couple, you know. Mm -hmm. Eased up there and we just sat there fishing around, you know. Mm -hmm. Didn't ever get no bites. About that time I, I stood up in front of the boat. I was facing the front, my partner sitting in the back. He went to holler. I turned around and big old, about, about a two and a half pound bass jumped right in his lap. Man. Was it baby? He went to holler and carrying on. You've been yeah. fishing for it, no way that yeah, He went to jump down. He, Grabbed him up and throwed him in the cooler. I said, what you finna do? He said, I'm gonna mount this thing. I said, why? He said, oh, ain't nobody gonna believe us. He said, so I can't tell nobody. He said, so I'm gonna mount him and put him on the wall. <laughs> Y'all completely out of the water. He just like... swam out of the water and jumped over the side of the giant boat and landed just as flat mm. of his life just like I'd have throwed him in there. Mm. He accused me of throwing him in there, but I didn't. Funny thing happened, don't it? <laughs> and you know, you hear people tell you know a shed i've heard of shed and all jumping in a boat but i ain't never seen no bass jump in a boat 